is what I like to do. Bag filled up, about to be empty. I'm trying to get as high as I can be. I stay on the moon. I got a duplex. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Tube Blood Marley. And this is Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my nighttime spliffs. You know we about to do Bird Club. About to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories. Which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Night's theory is centered around Area 51. Ever wonder why Area 51 has been shrouded in secrecy for decades? Why the government is so tight-lipped about what's really going on behind those desert walls? Maybe if you've heard the whispers of extraterrestrial encounters. UFOs zipping through the sky like a toddler on a sugar rush. But what if I told you it's not aliens they're trying to hide? What if instead of intergalactic visitors, the real secret is something far more down to earth? Could it be that Area 51 is actually where the best cannabis in the universe is being grown? Oh yeah, buckle up for this one. This is the conspiracy theory you didn't know you needed. Here's a riddle for you. Travel faster than light. Without a sound, across the cosmos where stars the sound, where stars abound. Been space and time, I take the lead. What kind of engine am I with incredible speed? You know the story. The 1947. A rancher stumbles upon what he believes is debris from a flying saucer. Just like that. Roswell becomes ground zero for every tin for you hat wearing enthusiast who's ever dreamed of having a close encounter of the third kind. But let me ask you this. What if that flying saucer was nothing more than a distraction? What if the government, knowing that people are as curious as a cat with a laser pointer, fed us a convenient alien story to cover up the real operation? And that operation was all about cultivating the dankiest buds ever conceived. Forget UFOs. This was a case of high flying cannabis think about it why would the government care so much about a supposed weather balloon crash maybe because the weather they were tracking was the quality of their top secret strains it's like throwing a pizza party to distract your friends while you're still the last slice classic mixed direction miss words misdirection here's another riddle for you in the vacuum of space i glide with ease no wings no air but I still breeze with solar sails catching rays so bright. What am I traveling at the speed of light? Here's a question for you. Why of all places is the U.S. government so obsessed with a patch of desert in Nevada? Is it because they're reverse engineering alien technology, testing UFOs, or is it something far more herbal? What if I told you that Area 51 isn't a research facility for alien spacecraft? but instead the most sophisticated grow operation on the planet, and quite possibly the galaxy. Picture it. Inside those secretive hangars, instead of flying saucers, you have row after row of cannabis plants. But these aren't just any plants. No, bruh. These are alien level buds, so potent they could make Chewbacca giggle. The advanced technology that makes Earth's finest green look like the weak stuff your cousin Dave grew in his closet. This is the intergalactic crema la creme. They got grow lights that make the sun jealous in fertilizers from distant worlds. It's like Willy Wonka's factory, but for weed and without the Oompa Loompas. Here's another riddle for you. Space I move, but not by thrust. Quantum entanglement is a must. I jump from here to there with no in-between. I'm faster than warp unseen. With him. Let me hit you with this um brain buster. Area 51 is really an alien hot spot. Why haven't we seen anything more convincing than grainy footage that looks like someone filmed it through a potato? It's simple, really, because the real cover-up is much more grounded. In fact, it's rooted in something you might even be familiar with, cannabis. That's right, the government doesn't need to hide little green men. They're hiding little green buds. And what's the best way to keep everyone distracted from the greatest cannabis crops known to men? You guessed it. Toss out a couple of fuzzy UFO videos every few years and let people imagine it. Huh. English language. And let people's imagination do the rest. Meanwhile, 
behind the scene area 51 scientists are crafting strains so powerful they make you question the very fabric of the universe these plants aren't just high no they're orbiting in a cosmic haze that even einstein would struggle to explain riddle time distant worlds i chart a path through black holes and cosmic wrath a strip of explorers brave and bold on a five-year mission their future is untold which ship am i finally let's ask the big one if you had access to the world's most powerful mind expanding reality bending cannabis in the universe wouldn't you do anything to keep it secret exactly that's why area 51 isn't just a military base it's a horticultural eden it's a place where the government is creating strains that could melt your brain faster than a solar flare forget about alien autopsies the only dissections going on are of premium nugs in conclusion area 51's biggest secret isn't ufos intergalactic visitors or flying saucers it's the dankiest most interstellar cannabis in extensive <laughs> lips tongue and teeth it's the dankiest most interstellar cannabis in existence so the next time someone tells you that the government is hiding aliens give them a wink and a nod because well the truth is out there it's probably sitting in a top secret greenhouse under a state of art grow light getting ready to take you on a trip that's truly out of this world the answers to the riddle warp drive light sail quantum teleporter the uss enterprise i see y'all on the next one bruh